This morning we are continuing our Sunday brunch series with the Bartolotta Restaurant Group with a stop at Bacchus. And the restaurant is set in a very sleek, stylish space in the Cudahy Tower in downtown Milwaukee. The emphasis is on seasonal ingredients, and the wine list is one of the most extensive in the city. I love it there, and we are joined now by Patrick Erdman. He's the general manager, and Nick Wirth. He's the executive chef, chef at Bacchus. Great to see you guys. Yeah, yeah thanks Thank for you so having us. Yeah, it for looks like you've got a beautiful display of seasonal veggies here. Yeah, we brought uh, some of the things you might be seeing coming out of your garden. Uh, I heard you talking about gardens before. Um, these are you know, a few items of uh, summer harvest. Um, just you know, a little brief overview. Yeah, yeah I want to know what your favorites are here. These are these tomatoes. Yes, yeah, these, these are all longest. heirloom tomato varieties. There's probably at least seven, eight different varieties we brought with us today. Uh, some are you know the larger uh, bountiful tomatoes. Some are the smaller you know cherry grape tomato varieties. And those are pretty seasonal, right? The heirloom. Yeah, tomatoes. yeah, especially with all the the warm weather sure. and rain we've been having lately. Tomatoes are you know definitely popping right now. So. Fantastic. And those are beautiful. It's they amazing. Are. I think how many different colors that tomatoes come in. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you get yellow, green, purple, red. Some are multiple colors, so when you slice into them, you get that nice kind of rainbow effect to the tomato. Tasty um, and a great plate presentation. Absolutely, right? absolutely. These look like miniature watermelons to me. I'm sure they're not. Yeah. I'm curious to know what these are. Yeah, right here. so this is kind of a, a product that's been, uh, it's been around for a while, but I think just a little more prevalent, and, uh, you know, certain chefs have kind of picked up on them lately. They're actually called kuka melons. Oh. So, yeah, they're basically uh, small uh, cucumbers but they look like watermelons. Um, they have a little bit of tanginess and tartness to them, um, but they're you know, definitely a unique item to put on the plate, and some people might not know what they are at first. But, All right, yeah. let's talk about the bar program. I promise Tyler, every time he's here, we gotta do some, <laughs> something with alcohol, but right. the bar program is something that you're really proud of, I know. Yeah, it certainly is. At Bacchus, we have, I think, one of the best cocktail programs in the city. It's driven by our bar staff, that we really give them the power and the creativity to create the cocktail program. Um, we recently just updated that and the focus for them was moving away from bitters. Bitters had been a big push as far as the flavor profile and the cocktails that we're seeing, but we wanted to move into something a little bit more fresh and crisp, a little more acid to go into the uh, end of summer into the fall season. And you've got an incredible wine list, right? Over 200 bottles of wine? Yeah, it's encroaching about 800 bottles of wine. Wow. So wow. it's uh, a nice size menu, some would say. Uh, we cater to kind of everything from your traditional uh, champagnes, vintage, non-vintage. Uh, we can go all over Bordeaux, Burgundy, right here in the United States, a little bit of Australia, just all over the globe. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. I assume pairing wine is, is a big component of the meals, right? The balance of the flavors along with the wine. Is that something that you spend a lot of time doing at the restaurant? Yeah, absolutely it is. It's something that when we prepare a wine dinner, it's the most important aspect. It starts with the wine and we'll sit down, we'll have the samples pulled of what we're going to hopefully serve at the dinner and discern what is going to be the best options for us. And Nick is just amazing at tasting wine, tasting champagne and pulling a menu together just out of thin air. That has got to be a great job, both of you. I think that's great. Now the chef's tasting menu. Tell us a little bit about that and how it works. Because we, we teased earlier that it's, it's such a great thing to have a chef prepared menu. Absolutely. Uh, about a few years ago, um, we just were looking for something a little different to do at the restaurant other than our, our daily normal menu that everybody gets. And people work all day. They're making decisions constantly at work. Uh, sometimes the last thing you want to do is go out to dinner and try to decide, do I want this or that? So having a tasting menu available is great because you don't have to feel like, well, I ordered this and I didn't get a chance to try that. Mm -hmm. It takes away all that, you know, pressure. And sometimes it's just nice to say, hey, you know what? Let the chef come up with a menu, you know, bring me some food and wine and just let it roll from there. I so. like that. And what if someone kind of eats late in the day or they're not starving, but they certainly want to come to the restaurant because of the tradition of it. Can they enjoy an appetizer or a cocktail and, and maybe pass on a menu at that time? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we have several dishes that are arranged to be, you know, just kind of a sampling of flavor, you know, without ordering a whole entree. So you can come in and order a couple appetizers. You could sit at the bar and do that. You can sit in the dining room and do that. You can, it's the menu set up so you can order as little or as much food as you want. See, I think that's fantastic. I know you guys are proud of your wine list, as you should be. And I think it's great that you do sort of the sampling and the pairing ahead of time, because for me, that's the biggest challenge is if I go and I order a, a meal, I don't know what wine goes with it. 
you sure. know, and you just sort of taste tested it and paired it up for me. Absolutely. I mean, when we think about food pairing with wine, there are certain traditions that are withheld and there's certain areas where you can kind of deviate off of it based upon the tasting profile. Um, you know, traditionally, for example, foie gras, we'll serve that with sauternes, just a great traditional classic pairing if we have that on the tasting menu that evening. But the wonderful thing about Bacchus is as big as our list is, we have a wonderful staff that has really embraced the knowledge that they can convey to help you find that perfect bottle of wine to go with your meal that evening. I love that. Bacchus is such a fantastic restaurant. The Bartolotto Restaurant Group has done some incredible things in the city. Mm -hmm. So what an thank honor you. to have thank you here, you, you bet. Well, yeah, so awesome. And people can experience your chef's um, menu right now, which is fantastic. Go for an appetizer or a cocktail. Come and enjoy also a full meal anytime you want. And we're going to give you the information so that you can book dinner at Bacchus. Um, the website is bartolottis.com slash Bacchus. And the phone number to call for reservations is 414 760 1166 and I'm sure you uh, accommodate special occasions too or people are planning for a group to attend to which is fun absolutely thanks you guys so much we Great. appreciate thanks your time thank you thank you